big boss, the really scary part. <sighs> I promised that I would not cheese this with the elect beam. There is a trick where if you fire the elect beam and pause uh, at the right time, you can beat this guy in a single hit. I'm going to use the elect beam because I like its wide arc, but I'm going to try not to cheat. There's a pattern to this guy, and it's not that hard once you get the hang of it, but it's really about memorization. And you can only get him one hit at a time. Oof. Not really impressing anyone. that he shoots at you. It's just the worst. We should hit him more than once, that would be great. Oh. Oh, man. I'm so screwed. Oh. So sad. Alright, we'll try it again. <sighs> Hang on a sec. Alright, that was my water drink of water for courage. Liquid courage. If I run out of elect beam, that means I have to beat the guy with the pea shooter. Oh, come on. That was just sad. Someone in the chat I noticed asked if this guy's name is really Yellow Devil. Yes, that is correct, but he was named by person living in Japan, so I don't think it's meant to be racist. Like, I don't think people usually use slurs against themselves. So, I think we're cool with this. It's just an unfortunate coincidence. Whoops. I gotta pay more attention and stop jabbering. Oh, man. Pardon me while I go silent. Okay. Yellow Devil down. Whew. Okay. Well, I feel like I can retire now. I've beaten the Yellow Devil without a cheat on a live stream. That's got to be a life goal or an achievement unlocked or something. Uh, so the next stage... Pretty drawn-out stage. And uh, one thing that bugs me about this is that you don't get your power up, but your, uh, your special weapon energy back is super lame. Wow. Although you could just fall into the pit a lot and die, and then you'll get your special weapon energy back. You know, I think I should probably do that. How many extra lives do I have here? One. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna be cheesy. Sorry about that. Oh, wait. Extra life? Now I'll be cheesy. Okay. Continue. Wouldn't it have been funny if I'd hit stage select and had to start all over again? I would have loved that. It would have been great. Beautiful cheese ball. Yeah, the enemy respawning on this is almost as bad as Ninja Gaiden. Not quite. Okay, it's it's pretty bad. Bastards, go away. Leave me alone. Never talk to me and my son again. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, like in Super Metroid, where there's an energy tank, and you're like, Oh yay, energy tank! And then it turns out not to matter. Who is the first guy? Is it Cutman? I think so. Oh, I guess... Did I do that wrong? Oh, whoops. Well, that was pathetic. I'm trying to think if there's a weapon that's good against Cutman, besides the 
super arm, which I can't use here because there are no blocks, and I don't think there are. So I have to do it the hard way and actually oops, dodge. Which isn't that hard once you realize he just you know, throws the thing and then jumps over you. But it's daunting. You get there and you don't have an arm to use against him? Pretty scary. I'm afraid that my ability to banter diminishes as the game grows increasingly difficult. Uh, oh, that's right, I died and restarted, started, so I don't need to refill. Right, so maybe cut the rolling cutter. So the, uh, the boss at this stage is one that I've never really gotten the hang of. Oops, what am I doing? Uh, this is terrible. Apparently I've also never gotten the hang of those guys. But there's apparently a pattern to the final, or not the final boss, but the, the boss at this stage, and I really should have read about it before I came here to do this stream. It would have been very helpful. But I'm actually usually more likely to die at the next boss than I was at the last one. Because the last one's tough, but there is a pattern that's pretty easy to spot once you survive it a few times. Uh, the next guy, not so much. Come on. What is this, Fester's Quest? I'll take those, thank you. Someone said use the fireball? Is that what I'm supposed to use against the final boss? Or the, the boss of the stage? If not, I'm going to sue. I don't know if I'm going to... Actually, no, that would be terrible, because he's got the orbiting things. Yeah, let's just go with the pea shooter. There's a couple of, of exploits to this guy, and I don't know any of them, so... I hope you'll forgive me if I die a lot. If I, if I die too many times, I'm going to cheat and look it up. Start shooting, little guy. Well, I guess this is one way to do it. I feel like this is probably not the intended tactic for this battle, but... You know, I'll accept it. That was working pretty well. How about that? Alright, we'll try that again. Just keep tapping, but this time with full life. Let's hope I can get that rhythm again. It's like, you know, when you're doing the slot machines in Super Mario Bros. 2 and you start hitting all the cherries, but then you, you take a break and you can't remember the, what the rhythm is. It's just the worst. There we go. Steady stream of fire. Get the hell away from me, jerk. I've lost the rhythm. It's terrible. See when I start to freak out because I start shooting faster and I lose the rhythm. Alright, I think I got it. I can't believe each shot does one point of damage. How lame is that? Alright, so now the only hard part remaining is the final uh, boss gauntlet, which I should be able to get past if I can remember how to beat Dr. Wily. Alright, so... Oh, we're at the three-quarter hour mark. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but... I will do the station identification here. Hi, I'm Jeremy Parrish, with usgamer.net, playing the original Mega Man on NES, using real hardware because I'm a pretentious piece of crap. Um, it's It's got to be a clean playthrough because I took the cartridge apart and, and brassoed the contacts. 
like a good man should. Um, my goal is to play through every single freaking Mega Man game ever made. Uh, well, that's not quite true, but a lot of them. I don't think I'm going to play Mega Man Battle Network on a live stream because, man, that would be that'd be so boring. Um, anyway, so we're starting with the beginning here with Mega Man. And this is the next to last stage. And this is basically the part where the game plays itself. Bring me the blue. Alright, so I think theoretically this is like supposed to be a flooded conduit or something. That's what that thing was that went past, but I don't know. It doesn't really feel any different. It doesn't feel like water. But basically, you just keep up steady rhythm, shoot the penguins, shoot the penguins, then there's a really easy boss, and then you're at the end of the game. Are there like bullets to come here or something? Yes, that's right. Gotta keep up that field of fire. Because they're bastards. And if you notice, I'm not pressing forward the water or whatever is sweeping me forward. <coughs> so we just kind of stand here and shoot. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is, uh, just went out for a second. And according to Nintendo Power, this guy is named Bubble Boy. According to Capcom's terminology, he has a different name. But conveniently, Dr. Wily put these blocks here in the middle for me to use to kill this guy. I'm gonna save the last two for the more advanced phase, because he takes more bullets to kill, or he goes start, starts going faster. Right, and he shoots bullets, too. Oh, I got hit. Better switch over to Super Arm. And that's one boss down. One more to go. Uh, someone said, even the DOS ones, Jeremy, even the DOS ones. No, I am not playing Mega Man on DOS because, oh, alas, I have a Macintosh. I can't use DOS. I guess I'm out of luck. Uh, someone asked about Mega Man 64. That would be redundant because that's just a bad version of Mega Man Legends. So, no. Don't be silly. And here we are at the robot factory. Robot house! Oh, that was a waste. Uh, I like this little bit of uh, visual storytelling. You, you fought Guts Man, but now here's a whole lot of them. Clearly Dr. Wily has stolen all the plans and intends to make you know, a mass army of Guts Men to take over the world. and. Who knows what he'll do once he has power, but that's what he wants. And I should get the Ashichi here, if I can remember what the timing is on this platform thing. If it's ever going to come, yeah, there we go. Oh, well, that was stupid. Alright, bear with me while I get my act together. Or not. Maybe I'll just die a lot. That'd be fun, too. <laughs> Alright, I'm off to a rollicking start on this life. I hate that when you die embarrassingly and then you get all flustered. And then everything you do from that point out is garbage. So please enjoy these last 10 minutes of my garbage playing. I really think I can beat this game, but, you know, I might have to leave you unfulfilled. I make no promises. 
And the hell with that, I say. I don't think I can beat the bosses with just what I have here, but let's find out. Uh, I think Fireman is first if I don't. Not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Nope, bomb man. Okay. Let's dash out before he chucks a bomb at me. One down. Okay, now I think it's Fireman, but maybe it's Iceman. It's always good to go unprepared. Okay. Now this guy is just a matter of attrition because he's cheap and uncool. What a jerk. Look at that. They don't even drop health pickups when you're done. What monsters. Okay, now I'm pretty sure it's Iceman, and if he hits me even once, I'm gone, and it'll be sad. Run, run, Mega Man, run! And finally, oh right, that guy. Shh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, what a jerk. All right, I gotta do this all over again. But at least it does start you with the boss gauntlet. Oh, that was a nice one. Jump right into it. Oh my god. Alright, sorry everyone, I'm not performing at 100% here. Jeez, Louise. with this one, but I'm not optimistic. Oh. Man. Alright. I'll give it another go. I've got ten minutes. Nine minutes. We'll see what I can do. I usually make it past the boss gauntlet, but of course, of course because people are watching, it's garbage. That's how it goes. Thanks for that. That's very useful. Falling into the spikes. So familiar somehow. It's like I've been here before. I have to admit the uh, little bit of visual storytelling is not quite so charming. You're like third or fourth time through, but what can you do? That's not really a defect with the game. That's a defect with the player. T minus eight minutes till the stream has to end. need the Ashichi, uh, so let's see, Bomb Man first. Now, in case you're wondering what the Ashichi down there does, uh, that is a bonus that refills all your health and all your weapons. So it's really helpful to have going in here. Did okay there, so let's see, next up is Fireman is going to use his powers of cheapness to cheaply diminish my power because he's a bastard. Um, Iceman. Oh, I will shoot like there's no tomorrow. Go! Go, Mega Man! Alright, now if I can just get past this guy. Oh, 
have to time the jumps right. That's the trick. And then, of course, he might, you know, pin you in here, in which case, what the hell can you do? Really? I was doing so well. <sighs> well, okay. So, let's see. I think I switched to a Lek Beam here. Give me lots of power-ups, please. That's it. What do I need most? Let's go to Fire Beam. Alright. A little more Liquid Courage, and... I'm trying to remember which weapons work against which phases of Dr. Wily. This may not go very well. But we'll see. not doing much. Well, it does get multiple hits in, so that's good. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat him with this little life, because the second phase shoots, uh, like, energy beams that are really hard to avoid. They're kind of cheesy. It's probably stupid for me to be even wasting my elect beam like this, but that's me. I fight smart. When I can be wasteful instead. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That was cool. I liked that. It was fun. Uh... Alright. I'll do what I can, but I make no promises here. If I don't win, just pretend I did, okay? Just be like, yeah, I saw a dude beat Mega Man, live, on a stream, it was cool, he was awesome. You can really tell that he knows his video games. I'm proud to follow him on Twitter or whatever, read his website. Uh oh Already doing worse than I did last time. So that bodes well. That's done, so... Oh, maybe that's what I should have been doing. Jeez. Oh, what the... What? That was bizarre. Oops. I feel like I'm using the wrong weapons here. Help me, oh, oh, Twitch stream. What weapons am I supposed to use against this jerk? Maybe I'm supposed to use the Elect Beam the second time through? <sighs> Maybe I've been doing it backward. Well, I guess we'll find out. I have my volume turned really far down, so... I may not be able to hear if I'm actually doing damage. That's stupid. I'll just use the regular gun. He doesn't have any uh, invincibility frames, so... Okay, that works a lot better. Come on, let me go to the pause menu, please. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that's what I was supposed to do. so sad. Alright, we're at the end of the stream, but you know what? I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it one more try. One more shot. I probably won't win, but I can try. Oops. I 
And I think I will go for the extra life. Just to have one more chance. So in theory, it's possible to beat this game in an hour, but you have to not screw up royally against Dr. Wily. All those years of playing RPGs have just worn down my reflexes. That's the excuse I'm calling at least. Anyway, um, so, how are you? How's the weather? How are things in, in a universe where you're not playing through this stage over and over again? Love to know. Love to know. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, that was really good. having a good feeling about this uh, this final playthrough here. Yes, it's going to go swimmingly. Ah. I do promise at least that my Mega Man 2 playthrough will be better, because um, I've played that a lot more than this, and it's actually a little bit easier. At least there you have E-Tanks. I do not promise that I'll be able to beat Mega Man 8, though, because that final boss that you have to beat with a soccer ball, that is just some straight-up garbage. I do not approve of that game design. That's assuming Mega Man 8 even works with the PSTV. I haven't tried that out yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, camp out, wait for the extra life. Alright, so let's see, that was Firestorm first. What? Oh, what, what, what? That was a very cheap tactic. On to Fireman and his cheesiness. I've already lost that much health? Good grief. That's shameful. Okay, Iceman, and then Gutsman will destroy me. Just the way God planned. Oh. I should have died there, but I didn't, so that's something, at least. Eat hot death. Yeah, okay. Now we're talking. So... Uh, let's see... Firestorm does repeated damage if you get in close, then cut is great for angling the high spot. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the Firestorm on the first phase, because uh, it's way faster if I just use the Pea Shooter. I've got the pattern down pretty well. But a Lek Beam, that's going to be helpful. Alright, if I can't beat him this time, I don't deserve to beat him. And you should all post to Twitter about what a terrible human I am. Yeah, it's really hard not to take a hit on that first energy beam he shoots, but I will I will triumph somehow. Alright, looks like I have one more attempt after this, so Godspeed everyone. I've jumped through the the, the door for good luck. Thanks for everyone who's sticking with me, by the way. 
figured everyone would stomp off in disgust when I didn't win. So you're all very kind. Oh. Or else you're all very bored and have nothing better to do than watch some old man attempt to beat an old video game. But whatever the case, that's fine by me. Don't, don't get me, don't get me. Ah, yeah. You should be able to switch to the, uh, the pause menu before, sooner than you can. Oh. Alright, looks like it's a race of attrition. Or not. And we're done. Okay. I don't think there's any secret surprises after this, so Godspeed. And God bless. Oh man, it looks like the, uh, okay, my stream video view froze, but it looks like it did not stream for everyone else because you're celebrating. So, alright, that does it for the original Mega Man. Let's watch the ending and celebrate the fight for everlasting peace together. But I'd like to thank everyone for uh, joining me. 50 people um, stuck it through to see Mega Man to the end, and it only took me an extra five minutes, so I didn't beat it in under an hour, but it was close. And then you get this, uh, this neat little ending where Mega Man runs a little bit, turns into Astro Boy, and receives a contradictory exhortation from the narrator. And here is a list of very talented people who are awesome, and you should respect them because they created a great video game legacy right here. Akira Kitamura, who has vanished off the face of the earth. There's a Retronauts episode coming up next week about him. Yasukichi, I guess that's, uh, yes, uh, Inafune? Tom Pan, I don't know who that is. Oh no, Enough King. So there's three character designers. Three! That's why this game looks so good. No, nope, there's four character designers because Kitamura also designed Mega Man. And that's uh, Manami Matsumae, the composer, who's very nice. She works with Brave Wave now. And I don't know who Yuki chan is, but she has a very talented father. And it turns out Mega Man doesn't actually live very far from where uh, Dr. Wily's final base was. It was just like a like a two-minute run. Not even that. So anyway, that is Mega Man, the original Mega Man, from start to finish. Thanks to everyone who stuck around to watch. And uh, we will be back, I don't know, maybe I'll do the next one tomorrow. Uh, in any case, pretty soon I will post an announcement on Twitter and usgamer.net to uh, let you know when Mega Man 2 begins and the Mega, Mar Mega Manathon continues. So that's it for this stream. Thanks once again for watching US Gamers US Streamer Series. And uh, I've been Jeremy Parrish, and you've been awesome.